Hi everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. Um, okay, so this word, it's very, very fresh. Very fresh. It's from today. It's from like a couple hours ago. This wasn't on my list to record. Um, but he gave me this and it was, it's for recording today okay so um this one comes from a number he highlighted the number 97 97 okay so i looked it up concordance um so in the hebrew and i know some of you guys ask um how i look up uh, the concordance or what i use um i have put i have there's a video where i had showed you guys the book um what book i use um and i guess i'll put it in the description box for those of you who didn't catch that or if you're new and all that so i'll put the book like a link to it an amazon link or something to it um in the description box uh what i use okay and let me just dis uh describe a little bit how um the book is like it'll say because if you look it up online it doesn't give you what the book has um well it does but the book gives you more if that makes sense the book gives you more because the book will say like um with this one um 97 right um but then it says from the root of 96 and sometimes it takes me like on this little journey um uh, i follow every number until there is no number right just because it's more specific and more well-rounded i feel um into what god is saying right plus god already knows that i'm gonna do that um so yeah i just i just do it um like that okay um and i always do both the hebrew and the greek i don't just take what sounds good god highlighted a number i'm taking it as a whole okay so i do the greek and the hebrew and um attach scripture to it to bring it all together right because sometimes even with just knowing what the number means um you want to attach scripture to it okay um and sometimes it contradicts each other the hebrew and the greek and and so you're like what god i don't get it and then the scripture brings clarity to it the scripture uh just wraps it up okay um so that's how that is um and as far as um like everything is biblical and and like i said like with scripture and so like all the like i know people will get in the comments and be like oh that's like demonic then numerology and all this stuff this isn't like numerology okay this leads to scripture at least the way holy spirit taught me and led and leads me it's all biblical with scripture okay this isn't like the angel numbers or, or stuff like that okay um and god does use numbers there's a whole book in the bible and it's called numbers okay so god uses numbers okay um and if you're not led to numbers yet because there was it was years before god opened that door for me where he started using numbers um then then that's fine you know in his timing he will lead you he will guide you okay that's why i always tell you guys take everything back to god let him confirm let him give you further revelation and like personalize it for you right and yeah so i don't know i guess somebody needed to hear that um but yeah okay so 97 in the hebrew means double pond 
but I'm excited because he gave me a revelation today that I had not like, but I'll get to it. Okay. So double pond, double. Okay. And it led me to 96. This is still in the Hebrew. To flow down together as drops, like a liquid, right? To flow down together as drops, a reservoir, reservoir, something that where water or a liquid is reserved, okay? That already speaks a lot. <laughs> so, um, and then in the Greek, it means not deceitful unadulterated sincere so in other words you can trust this you can trust this it's not deceitful it's unadulterated which means it's pure it's pure it's it's like original something in its original state untouched okay and sincere sincere but then from there it told me to go to 1388 so i go to 1388 okay and it means decoy trick bait craft deceit and i'm like oh that's the opposite of what i just read okay but i kept going okay then it uh, told me to go to 1185 and then it means uh, to entrap, delude, allure, entice. And I'm like, oh, okay, God, that, that's not good, right? But of course, I'm like, scripture, scripture will bring it together. And so uh, right away when I saw to flow down together as drops, double pond, reservoir. So the Hebrew right away, um, Holy Spirit the, dropped Malachi, Malachi 310. I'm like, Ooh, yes. Okay. So I went to Malachi 310 and once I read that, I kept reading a couple verses and it brings it all together, even like the Greek meaning with the opposite things right so let's read okay this is malachi 3 10 bring the whole tenth into the storehouse so that there will be food in my house and put me to the test says adonai Savayot. see if i won't open for you the floodgates of heaven and pour out for you a blessing far beyond your needs okay so that's the to flow down together as drops a reservoir so we all have a reservoir of blessings that god has set aside for each one of us okay and here he's saying i'm about to release this to you I'm going to open the floodgates. Hope you guys catch this and are connecting some dots here. Holy Spirit, help your children. Okay. He's about to open the floodgates of heaven and pour out blessings. Okay. And this is specific to finances. Okay. Financial. Okay. Because it's talking about the tenth, the tithe, right? Um, for your sakes, this is verse 11, for your sakes, I will forbid the devourer to destroy the yield from your soil and your vine will not lose its fruit before harvest time, says Adonai Sabayot. All nations will call you happy for you will be a land of delights, says Adonai Sabayot. Okay. So he brings it all together. Um, he's forbidding the devourer. Okay, so what he's giving you is sincere, unadulterated, 
um not deceitful it's true this is from god things from god um are pure they are good and this takes me back to proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the lord enriches and he adds no sorrow to it okay now the decoy the trick the bait the craft the deceit uh to entrap to entice alert that's god forbidding that he's forbidding this okay uh, the enemy the devourer okay um he's forbidding the devourer to destroy the yield from your soil okay um so see how scripture brought it all together um he's he's doing it and one thing that i was like okay god okay because there's spiritual blessings right there's the anointing um because it means double pond there's double in there so um i'm like god are you referring to spiritual blessing are you res uh, referring to earthly material uh blessing what are you referring to here the scripture is clear uh it's talking about finances okay material earthly stuff okay but he said double and holy spirit when i asked him this he said it's double and i'm like oh double okay it's going to be spiritual blessings with earthly blessings so it's double that's the double portion I, i've read double so many times as far as god blessing double god giving you double god returning double um and this in he never gave me this revelation till today where he's the double means he's giving you spiritual blessings and earthly blessings right so there's an alignment happening with heaven and earth that he's pouring out heaven's blessings to fall down on earth i don't know why i never saw it like that but it's god's timing maybe you guys have caught it but god barely revealed it to me today where heaven will pour out on the earth okay the floodgates of heaven are pouring out he's pouring out those blessings from heaven onto uh the earth for you okay he's giving you this um and so that's the double the double portion that double reward the the double is that now uh, what you've seen in the unseen in the spiritual will now be manifested on earth you will now see it you will now experience it it will now be tangible so to get something from god that's going to enrich you okay it, it has no sorrow added added to it um it's unadulterated it's pure okay it's from him it's good um it's sincere what he's giving you what he's sending you is sincere you can trust it you can trust it um and it's not deceitful and as far as the de decoys the counterfeits the all that stuff god is getting rid of that no more okay no more um that's it for the devourer that's it for the counterfeits that's it for the blessings that come with sorrow attached to them that's that wasn't from god to begin with okay you're about to experience god's true blessings what tr what a truly like oh my goodness um what's truly from god what's truly truly from god okay and when god gives you something it's like the whole package when it's a counterfeit it's like something's missing and you feel like you have to settle right 
um, and you think, well, this is it. This is as good as it's going to get. And God is like, no, you don't have to settle. What comes like God knows the desires of our hearts. And plus he placed those desires in our hearts. They come from him. And if we are delighting in him, that's why it says you will be a land of delights because you have delighted in him. And so now he's pouring out these blessings on you so that you will be now a land of delights where now um, you can be a blessing for others to be that land um, full of abundance from God, right? It's spiritual and it's like earthly. So God is just giving you more seed to sow more seed to sow wow thank you holy spirit and the more seed that you have the more you sow the more you will reap that's why don't skip through any i just did a video it kind of connects um don't skip through any phase don't skip through a season and try to get ahead you'll get there okay don't skip anything don't get ahead of yourself okay um just follow god follow god Okay, um, so that's it for this one. So if uh, God has been highlighting 97 for you, this word for sure is for you. Um, wow, he's about to do it. Heaven and earth aligned, okay. Um, heaven on earth, praise God. Okay, so scripture will be in the description box. And if you're allowed to say, you may do so. God bless you. Bye.